You've devoted at least the last close to 20 years of your life, if not more, to uh, the climate, climate change, uh, to trying to get Tesla off the ground, in part to improve climate. You talked about that. Uh, yeah, a real right-wing motive. Uh, repeatedly. Uh, far right, if no, anything. No, I understand that. <laughs> and then it's so it's... It's, 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 it's right. reverse psychology next level. Well, no, but so here's then the question, which is how do you square the support that you have given, uh, I believe you were at a fundraiser uh, for uh, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, for example, who says that yeah. the climate uh, climate issue uh, is a hoax, right? Yeah, I disagree with him on that. I, but I would think that that would be such a singular issue for you. I would think that, uh, that the climate issue would be such a singular issue for you that actually it would disqualify almost anybody who, who didn't take that issue seriously. Well, I haven't endorsed anyone for, for president. I mean, I wanted to hear what Vivek had to say because um, I think some of his things are, that's some of the things he says, I think are pretty solid. Um, you know, he's concerned about government overreach, um, about government control of information. The, I mean, the, the degree to which uh, old Twitter was basically a sock puppet of the government was ridiculous. Um, so, you know, it, it seems to me that there's, that there's a, a very severe violation of the First Amendment um, in terms of how much the government control, uh, how, how much control the government had over old Twitter. Um, and uh, it no longer does. So, you know, there's a reason for the First Amendment. Um, the reason for the First Amendment for the freedom of speech is because the, the, the people that immigrated to this country uh, came from places where there was not freedom of speech. And, and they were like, you know what, we, 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 we got to make sure that that's constitutional. Um, because where they came from, if they said something, they'd be put in prison. Or there'd be, uh, you know, uh, something bad would happen to them. So, uh, and freedom of speech, you have to say, when is it relevant? It's only relevant when, when someone you don't like can say something you don't like, or it, ha it has no meaning. Um, and, and, and as soon as you sort of, you know, throw in the towel and concede to censorship, it is only a matter of time before someone censors you. And that is why we have the First Amendment. Um, could you see yourself voting? For President Biden, if, if it's if it's a Biden Trump election, for example, I think I would not vote for Biden. <laughs> You'd vote for Trump. <laughs> I'm not saying I'd vote for Trump, but I mean, <sighs> this, is, this is definitely a difficult choice. Yeah, you know. Would, <laughs> would you uh, would you vote for Nikki Haley? Nikki Haley, by the way, wants uh, all social media. Um, names to be exposed, as you know. No, I think that's outrageous. Yeah, no, I, we, we, I'm not going to vote for some pro-censorship candidate. You, you've devoted at least the last close to 20 years of your life, if not more, to uh, the climate, climate change, uh, to trying to get Tesla off the ground, in part to improve climate. You talked about that. Uh, yeah, a real right-wing motive. Uh, repeatedly. Got a far right, if no, anything. No, I understand that. <laughs> And then it's so it's, 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 it's right. reverse psychology next level. Well, no, but so here's then the question, which is how do you square the support that you have given? Uh, I believe you were at a fundraiser uh, for uh, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, for example, who says that yeah. the climate, uh, climate issue uh, is a hoax, right? Yeah, I disagree with him on that. I, but I would think that that would be such a singular issue for you. I would think that, uh, that the climate issue would be such a singular issue for you that actually it would disqualify almost anybody who, who didn't take that issue seriously. Well, I haven't endorsed anyone for, for president. I mean, I wanted to hear what Vivek had to say, because um, I think some of his things are, that's some of the things he says, I think are pretty solid. Um, you know, he's concerned about government overreach, um, about government control of information. The, I mean, the, the, the degree to which uh, old Twitter was basically a soft puppet of the government was ridiculous.